Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. Since it's version 3.2 now, there's a new Archon Quest, Chapter 3, Act 5. I'm going to play Chapter 3, Act 5, but maybe not the whole thing today. Since I heard it's very long, I'll play like maybe halfway. We'll see. Eh? Mind, and yeah, I got Naida. Lost 50-50. So, talk to Candace. Alright, let's go. Candace! We're here! Has everyone arrived? Everyone is already waiting inside. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's join them! Please. Wait a moment. Hmm? Before attending the meeting, I hope you can promise me one thing. What do you need? Promise me that you won't commit to anything too reckless. Hmm. What do you think? Try not to. Okay. <laughs> but I have a feeling maybe we might get reckless. We'll see. Okay, here we go. Act 5. Enter the village chief's house. Start now. Very well. Okay, so that. Are you sure this is gonna work? What's the plan? I gotta admit, it's bold. Color me impressed. Hmm. It's worth a try. The point of discussion is to arrive at a solution. Let's cut the small talk and move to the next point. Uh, you're making Paimon nervous. Mm. No, I'm nervous. What's going on? <laughs> You're finally done. Oh, I didn't even hear the plan. Okay. I have some other stuff to take care of. Catch you all later. Come Wonder on, suspicion. don't give me that face. I know what you're going to say. I'll be careful. That's what I wanted to hear. Take care. Oh boy. Well, traveler, Paimon, judging from your expressions, the meeting must have been quite productive. You can tell? I'm not that good at scheming or strategy, but I can sense people's emotions. And based on your reaction, things must have gone quite well. We'll make our move on the next Janagarbadi. To be honest, I feel the same. But you're already some of the most capable people I know. So you have my trust. <laughs> Candace gave us a compliment. <laughs> Your deeds speak for themselves. Candace, we stayed behind to tell you that, although you won't be coming with us, we'll be sure to remember your words. I'm very glad to hear that. I've said the same thing to everyone here today as I said to you when you arrived. Your safety is the most important thing. Only when you're safe can the plan be successful. So please, take care. You're welcome. And thank you for taking my advice. Good luck. With everything. I'll be here in the village praying for you. Oh man, I don't know what the plan is. But they already have a plan. Meet up with I'll hate them. Actually. Stay safe, everyone. I'll be here praying for you. Good luck. Okay. Uh, just curious. Can I do the emphasis? Oh. Ah, uh, dot dot me. <laughs> okay. Can it? But need dot dot. 
Oh wait. And also. I see everything. Nice. <laughs> That's so convenient. Anyway. Mm, sounds good. I'll go make some preparations. Okay. I'll hit them. Have you finished saying your goodbyes? Yeah. Also, Candace told everyone to be careful. Yes, she did. But I think my point also bears repeating. Our plan is not child's play. We won't be able to achieve anything if we're simply careful. We must go beyond that and fully commit <sighs> ourselves to it. I hope this is clear to you. Huh? Shouldn't you be saying something more cheerful to boost our morale right now? Didn't we already do that during the meeting? You can never have enough words of encouragement. In that case, Candace can cuddle you to your heart's content while <laughs> I continue to remind you of the seriousness of our situation. We all have our jobs to do, after all. It's like how some people can be put in charge of logistics while others will fight on the front lines. Hmm. Speaking of the front lines, you don't look anything like a soldier. Well, of course. Compared to the mercenaries, I'm merely a feeble scholar. But the advantage of not being a mercenary is that I get to stay in a safer place and offer my strategic insight. Just think about that mercenary who lost his mind. Mercenary groups are facing constant danger every single day. Well, being a scholar is also a high-risk occupation. And you are a scholar! I'm not like the rest of them. Even among members of the same species, some will exhibit far more potential than others. This guy. <laughs> Paimon still remembers when those mercenaries and poor Ormos called you a lunatic! <laughs> All intellectuals are lunatics in the eyes of fools. I'll take that as a compliment. Hmm. That reminds me. Do you remember the record we saw in the King Deshret ruins? It mentioned forbidden knowledge. Yes, I remember. You have a good memory. Forbidden knowledge has the power to drive people insane. But this fact has never been shared with the public. Even I, who has worked in the knowledge. academia for some time, was never once informed of this. I think... Those mad scholars and mercenaries we encountered may have all fallen victim to the corrupting qualities of forbidden knowledge. So, it's actually divine knowledge, forbidden knowledge? But, the academia has always held a different view. They have always believed that symptoms of madness are a side effect of human contact with divine knowledge as mere mortals. Mm -hmm. Come to think of it. Perhaps the academia has also never understood the true nature of forbidden knowledge and thus always approached the issue from the wrong direction. The Withering, Elazar, and the Sandstorms. Don't you think what is happening right now across Sumeru is rather similar to the forbidden knowledge pollution that occurred in the desert thousands of years ago? But Paimon thought that Ermin's soul's disease is what caused the withering and the sandstorms. Yeah. At least, that's what Tainari told us. Wait a second. Could it be that... Ah, you've connected the dots. Hmm? The cause of Ermin's soul's illness may precisely be the pollution from forbidden knowledge. Pollution from forbidden knowledge. But if that's the case, what should we do? This is huge! Wait. Why do you think Lesser Lord Kusanali would have a solution to this situation? She said the key to saving your Ermin soul is contained with the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord. You mean, it's related to the scene you saw when you passed out in the Avidia Forest? That whole, the world forget me thing? Hmm, how is it related? Hmm. In that case, it's imperative that we rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali. Only by working with her to save Ermin's soul can we completely resolve the problem Sumeru currently faces. To make sure we're still on track, I would like to check on the state of some of our preparatory work. Where are we going? To an Aramite base. Uh, I guess we know where. The same place we went with that guy last time. Yeah, this is it. 
behind you. Um. <laughs> oh, you made it. Huh? What are they doing here? I gave them some technical work to do. Oh, it's the scribe. And is that the oh, these two again. How's the work going? Ah, yes! We have fixed the devices according to your instructions. One of them is already ready for use, while the others are still under oh, repair. Oh, this. Aren't those devices for can knowledge extraction? What are you doing with those? Look here. Huh? Uh, more can knowledge? Are you going to put more weird stuff into his head again? What's that look on your face? Are you scared? Paimon's a little scared, but very, very furious! <laughs> That's an interesting response. Anyway, we're not going to use this just yet. Okay. As I mentioned during the meeting, this knowledge capsule contains a decree I drew up in the past. A decree? The Academia should also have their own copy. And according to the plan we just came up with... Traveler, I want you to record something into this capsule. Record something. Do you believe we can save Lesser Lord Kusanali? Uh, what I mean, like in faith, I'll make up in my actions. Good. Conviction is the most important part of all of this. Now, please get ready and put on this device. You want us to record our conviction into the knowledge capsule? Yes. Uh, Paimon is still really worried. I understand. But trust me, Paimon, this is something we have to do. It's best if you can do as I say. Because, to achieve this impossible task, it sounds like you'll need to fool your own heart first. To Although it may feel like heart. a trick, self-encouragement may be the most important tool we have. Hmm. Paimon can see the point you're trying to make. All right, then. Imagine this. We have orchestrated our plan and successfully rescued Lesser Lord Kusanali. Oh, this land. As a result, we have changed Sumeru's entire political landscape. That's from the trailer. Everything went without a hitch, and everyone recognizes and praises our achievements. Okay. Now, open your eyes. Here. What's this? Read it out loud. Some stirring words have been written on the note. Although you don't understand the purpose, you still follow the instructions. It's okay. done. Is your head okay? Does anything hurt? It's just a recording. There should be no negative effects. But what was the point of doing this? Uh, Paimon doesn't get it. <laughs> I don't get it either. And that's perfectly fine. In any case, these capsules aren't meant to be used by you. Huh? Oh. What do you mean? Have you forgotten? Our plan needs to account for those who have long relied on the Akasha. You may find it hard to believe, but for those people, everything the Akasha transmits to them is nothing short of absolute truth. Imagine if you've been using a device like the Akasha since the day you were born. And this device has always supported you during times of need. After all that time, what do you think you'd become? Uh, a fool? A, fool. a machine? A slave to orders. And that's why rules are so important. In addition, those who understand the rules can delineate boundaries and identify gray areas. Hmm. But why would you need to identify the gray areas? You could say that those kinds of ambiguous zones can be very... Interesting. Interesting, yeah. One might even say they're advantageous in the right hands. Things you're interested in are really out there. Are all Sumeru scholars like this? <laughs> anyway, that's enough chit chat. I'm going to take those two to work on some small projects. You can head to Caravan Rebot and start preparing for the next step. Small projects? We're going to tinker with the Akasha Terminal and make a few modifications. Alright. Go to Caravan Revet, meet up with Sino. Wow. What what is this plan? <laughs> NPC cannot, cannot 
Wait, no name cannot. <laughs> Caravan Rebat. We're back here. <clears throat> I thought we agreed on a plan. Rahman. How can you go back on your word? The yeah, plan this is too this radical is and carries a high risk for casualties. I've given it a lot of thought. And in the end, I still can't agree to it. Hmm? But it's still the best plan we have. <sighs> As a former Matra, you of all people should be able to see the bigger picture and recognize the innate advantages of our plan. I did. And that's how I saw the danger behind these so-called advantages. <sighs> Ah, uh, plan is even more radical than I imagined. Huh? Why are you guys arguing? Sinus not agreeing to the plan, Sandalin? My friend, you're just in time. Why don't you help me persuade Sino? He's turned against our plan. We agreed to work out a plan at the meeting. As mercenaries, you're familiar with the local environment. So you'll take care of the specifics. But then, you went to all Haytham for suggestions. Had I known all Haytham would give you those kinds of suggestions, I would not have agreed to the plan. Look, you already know that we're all on the same side here, don't you? Mm -hmm. Mercenaries place a lot of importance on their bonds of friendship, but also will not hesitate to make sacrifices if they deem the situation to be sufficiently dire. <sighs> I'm sorry, but as things stand, I can't accept your principles. Seems you really do understand the ways of the desert. Traveler, Paimon. This is also something you should know. Rahman's plan is to have me work with the Caravan Reebok guards in my capacity as a mantra. Mm -hmm. We will arrest the mercenaries and escort them into Sumeru City. Oh, okay. can't get through that wall easily, remember? Caravan Rebot would never let so many unregistered members of the Aramites enter Sumeru City. So the plan is to get them into Sumeru City. My plan will clear us of any possible suspicion and also let us enter the city as a big group. There is no better way. That also sounds like something all Haytham told you. Am I right? I see why there's a the risk there. Of course he does. He told me, there is no perfect plan, but this can get the job done. He also said that with the help of Sino and the Traveler, our chance of success would increase significantly. I never blindly trust anyone, and I've always had a good eye for people. I think he made a number of valid points. It's my own choice to trust you. If I make the arrests alone, I can control myself and prevent you from getting hurt. Mm -hmm. But I can't guarantee that kind of discipline oh, from the okay. guards. I see. To make the whole thing more convincing, you'll need to resist to some degree. So that casualties might cause are inevitable them to get hurt. once push comes to shove. <laughs> I'm okay with the Guess you have to do enemies. some acting. But now that we're acting allies, that we are... I'm against the meaningless loss of our own. Yeah, they are arrested. <laughs> <sighs> I can't believe a mantra would actually care about us. I've lived a hard life, and I can say that people like you are hard to come by. I've always treated my allies with honesty and respect. They have the right to know important things like this. Now you're making this hard for me. Now I'm just thinking. Do, do the sages and all whatever know that this is happening maybe? Because they are in the desert, hey, but they are wearing their we Akasha. I don't know. Uh... <laughs> I knew you would say that. We can help fight some of the mercenaries, which should reduce the number of times you'll have to struggle directly with the guards. That should help at least a little bit. Sino, on behalf of my people, I thank you for your kindness. But this is a mission we cannot turn our backs on. 
We strongly value the lives of our friends. But the goal we are about to achieve is even more important. We have no fear of casualties because we crave the spoils of victory. So please, lend us your support. We will show you the determination of us desert dwellers. Well, now that you've put it that way, I can no longer refuse. But remember, you need to follow the plan and not do anything reckless. Again, anything reckless. Candace made it very clear <laughs> that we can only achieve our goals if we can ensure our safety. Since you and I both recognize the significance of this operation, there should be no more animosity between the followers of the Dendro Archon and those of King Deshret. Everyone's life is <sighs> equally important. Okay, you have a deal. Let's do this for our shared dream. The guards should be stationed in the courtyard nearby. You can find Talk them there. Talk to the soldiers in station in Caravan Rebar. Okay. a large criminal gang near this location according to the academia's guide and regulations on secret operations i have the right to ask for the cooperation of caravan rebot ah of course of course mahamatra sino's order is the academia's order just let us know what you need but who exactly are you planning to arrest and how many people are you expecting depending on the scale of this operation we may need to report it to our superiors there are a squad of Aramites whose number is comparable to Ein El Akmar in Port Ormos. They're involved in the theft and resale of supplies from the Academia. As many as Ein El Akmar? This should definitely be classified as a joint operation. Then I suggest that you report this to your superiors as soon as possible. And treat it as a top priority desert operation. I will need personnel. Oh boy. Got it! Please wait a moment, I'll contact them immediately. Look is recommending on your work. Because this is work. Because I trust you. <laughs> I can't believe you're still in the mood to chat. This whole thing has Paimon scared stiff. Aren't you even a little worried? What if these guards already Shush, know that Paimon. you have betrayed the academia and are no longer their general Mahamatra? Even if that guard doesn't know, their superiors might, right? We discussed this, remember? Uh, okay, finally. Of great importance. But don't worry. The guards there shouldn't know that Sino has stepped The guards out. there shouldn't know, okay. How can you be so sure? First, the other Matra still don't know why Sino has left, which proves that the academia has been covering up the matter. Second, this is a crucial but the academia superiors will know. Plan. Right? If something were to happen to the general Mahamatra, it's bound to attract a lot of unwanted attention. No matter how you look at it, they don't seem interested in sharing the news of Sino's departure. Okay. A reasonable inference. I agree. Which brings us to our next issue. I'm sure some of you have been wondering if the prediction function of the Akasha will affect our yeah, operation. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Wouldn't the Akasha know? The Akasha what's going is still on? in operation, so I must remain on high alert. It's still in operation. Actually. Considering the power of the Akasha, it's quite strange that it hasn't already tried to interfere with my actions. I've given that a lot of thought. Mm -hmm. For now, I don't think you'll need to worry. Yeah, this is what I was worried. If you remember, when you first came to Aru Village, all your actions and routes were, were predicted, predicted by, by the Akasha. Akasha yes. It even gave that information to those who kidnapped the village keepers. But things like that never happened again after we met up with the Traveler. Hmm? Hmm. That's true. But why? Look at it from a different angle. Why do you think the Akasha will predict your actions? Because my personal data has been entered into the Akasha. 
Yes. That's true. But the key to this question is, how well can the Akasha make predictions about a person? Haven't you ever thought about it? Just how can it do this in the first place? They have the information of the character. Because the Akasha controls the entirety of Sumeru. Controls the entire. The academia firmly believes that all human actions can be explained through logic. By sorting and analyzing entered data, the Akasha can derive behavioral logic and predict the actions of those who fit an existing logic model. However, at the risk of sounding like an advocate for fallacies, can everyone truly be considered logical at all times? Emotions are part of our behavioral logic. But can you guarantee that every hmm. experience of the same joy or pain would be equally intense? How can our feelings and opinions be predictable down to the letter in every single instance? Sino, in the past, you've always worked alone. In the absence of another person who could sway you or your thoughts, the Akasha could produce predictions that were similar to your real-life behavioral principles. Decisive and principled, you were used to solving problems alone. That's why the Akasha could figure you out. Oh yeah. But now, now you've joined a team. it's not alone, but people, I the Akasha would think that Sano uh, is still working alone or yeah, something like that. Okay. Our thoughts and logic have intermingled and weave themselves together to become a complicated chaotic mess. Any one of us could potentially disagree with another. The Akasha lacks data on these interactions, and it's impossible for it to predict your actions in the future based on your decisions in the past. After all, there's probably a limit to just how much we can be modeled or controlled by data. So, in my opinion, you're probably, probably. safe for now. Hmm. Makes sense to me. <laughs> I agree. The Akasha is not alive, and I don't think we can be completely controlled by something without a mind of its own. <sighs> is that so? I guess there are things that even the Akasha cannot calculate, and people will not be forever trapped by the past. Oh, I'm so glad that this is settled. So that's why, huh? Okay. Next time, pay attention during our meetings. Just remember to stay vigilant. Ah, footsteps! General Mahamatra, we were not expecting your presence here. I'm the security officer of the Grand Deshret Desert District. Grand my Deshret. name is Luxembarbo. Security officer. This is my assistant, the Traveler. He will be working with me. The construct next to him is for his work. Beep! Construct! Beep! The help I want. <laughs> what a great honor to meet you. Your golden hair is as bright as the sun. And uh, is this <laughs> the latest technology from the academia? Have you made a decision regarding the matter I mentioned Robot to your subordinate? It seems to be a dire situation, so of course you will have our full cooperation. To be perfectly honest, always long to go on a mission with someone as well known as yourself there's no need for flattery uh, yes sir take your most elite platoon and follow me to the eastern side of the district we will carry out the operation there understood <sighs> map hurry bring the map <laughs> okay in two days we will engage Ramon's Aramites and capture all of them Capture. Any questions about the time or location? None at all, sir. Good. See you then. Yes, sir. <sighs> okay. Maybe hanging around the General Mahamatra isn't so bad after all. Everyone's so respectful towards us. This is all due to the absolute authority of the academia. And now? We're going to strike back against that massive pillar of power. Get ready. We will move out in two days. So, time to skip two days. Wait until the appointed time. What is the appointed time? Okay. Two days. But what exactly is the time just now? So far, 30 minutes in. Oh. 
Looks like everyone's here. Inactivity serves. Time for the operation. Let's go meet Sino in the desert. These guys weren't here before. <laughs> okay, meet Sino in the desert. Oh, okay. Look! Over there! Our helpers have arrived already! Let's hurry over! Wait a moment. Hmm? Ah! Oh, it's you! God damn it. You're my assistant, remember? Being my assistant, you must stay with me. Now let's head over there. God damn it, Paimon. It's General Mahamatra and his assistants. We meet again. <sighs> You're here early. It's to show how important we think the operation is. Since this is a big case for the academia, we are prepared to give it our best. Uh, I hope nothing goes wrong. I'm glad to hear your sense of resolve. Remember, we must capture them alive. They are our only leads for the case. If they die, we will be unable to continue the investigation. Okay. Understood. Everyone! The Aramites are approaching from the west! Oh, Make just preparations and be ready for combat. Halt! Oh, what a warm welcome. What do you want? Judging from those shiny weapons in your hands, it seems like you're not interested in a deal. Ramon, the academia has caught wind of your smuggling and illicit <laughs> sales. If you value your life, I advise you to surrender. Who are you supposed to be? A matra from the academia? <laughs> I can't believe you came all this way just to catch us. I'm not here to talk. Oh. Nobody's given me this much time of day since I became a mercenary. Brothers! For that slight, let's wash our blades the with line. their blood. Let's show them we Aramites are not to be messed with. Are we fighting, Raman? Oh, what? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not really gonna attack so much. Well, we have the Academia as our uh, upper, the Corps of Thirties as our ally. There you go. <laughs> I just realized there's time, so I guess we have to speed up a bit. Time for take off. Everyone hold hands. Shine down. Okay. <laughs> is now over. All Aramite mercenaries and related personnel in the area have been arrested. Ah, you pitiful Dendro Archon dogs! You'll regret this! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm afraid you'll regret it first. King Jeshred will curse you, and you will all! Silence! Oh! Oh. Uh. Oh, uh. <laughs> Restrain them and take them back to Caravan Rebot. Count their numbers and send them to the academia as instructed by the general Mahamatra. Yes, sir. Okay, God says quite a few is looking Rahman and the others. Mahamatra Sino, I will now take my leave. If you need further assistance, please come to Caravan Rebot and ask for me. Understood. You are dismissed. There they go. Let's talk elsewhere. Right.
No, you stop this. This part of the plan went really well. Yes, things went perfectly. That's fantastic. And that punch you gave Rum on there sure looked convincing enough. Once we're done here, I'll return to Caravan Rebot and oversee the group's transport. I promise. I'll get everyone into Sumeru City safely. Okay. Yeah, you're the reason why everything went so well. <sighs> it's not the time to celebrate yet. I believe Dia should already be waiting for you. Go join up with her. She will need you to introduce her to Tainari. Speaking of which, to is it really okay for us not to share the full plan with Tainari? What if he'll feel miffed about it and refuse to work with us? This is this part of I have a very close relationship with Tainari. Given how well we know each other, I believe my message alone should be enough to bring him to our side. He knows I won't make jokes about things like this. He knows I won't make jokes. If we need help, Tainari is the best option. Get ready for the next phase of the plan. Don't keep them waiting. So far I never heard any sign of joke in-game before. It's just memes of his jokes. Eremite Necredit. What? Help Sino get Rahman into Sumeru. Rahman and his crew. Okay. So that's what it's about. What a plan. To get into Sumeru, just get arrested. Didn't you say our part of the plan is the most important of all? And here you come rolling in late. In the time it took you to get here, I already did five laps around the place, down seven drinks, and even did some clothes shopping. What? Uh, sorry. We didn't mean to keep you waiting. <laughs> I just wanted to fix your attitude and rub it in a little. After all, you took your sweet time getting here, and we've got important stuff to take care of. <laughs> I just like seeing that serious look on your face. All right, I'll stop. All joking aside, I'm glad you're here. Let's get moving and take care of this as soon as possible. Uh, but where should we start? Our responsibility is to get a status update on the Fatui Harbinger known as the Doctor. We need to make status sure he won't get in our way when we rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali. Dealing with an institution that controls all of Sumeru is already hard enough. If the Doctor were to crash the party, it would be next to impossible for us to achieve our goals. Okay. Yeah. We sure don't want him chewing up. Ooh, he really gets by on the creeps. Right? Hearing his name just reminds me of those stuffy old geezers in the academia. I'd rather not have to deal with someone like that. What should we do then? According to the plan, we should first go to Pardis DI and ask for Tainari. Forest Watcher Tainari. If all Haytham and Sino's sources are solid, then we can be sure that Tainari still has the Academia's trust. So, we'll find Tainari and convince him to get us the latest intel on the Doctor. Then, depending the on what we learn, we'll make any necessary adjustments to our plan. The Sages have placed spies everywhere on the other side of the wall. Yeah. I'll follow you as a bodyguard. <laughs> you should be honored. I don't offer my services to just anyone you know. You still can't use her though. That's certainly true, but when multiple employers are vying for your services, you should always go with the best offer. Hmm, let's see. If I were to charge you a bill, I guess I can apply a discount. Uh, <laughs> how much more do you want? I was not sure we can afford it. Hmm, how much do I want? Hey, how about paying me with a smile? What do you say? Huh? I haven't seen you smiling much recently. If you ask me, someone like you must look lovely when they smile. Come on, give me a smile so that I can be less worried. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good. I hope this pretty smile will become our lucky charm. There are many kinds of smiles, but only a truly joyous one can bring blessings to others. Let's consider this smile a down payment for our future victory. Let's go. It's time to pay a visit to Party's DI. Okay. We're going back. To parties, DI. Wow. I wonder if that robot is still there. Be 
before I find an army. Hmm. Huh? Uh. Hey, Pisha is here. What? Oh, what's the dog? Okay. Hey, Pisha is here. I did not expect that. I was looking for the robot. I wonder where they go. <laughs> anyway. Suddenly it's day time. <laughs> ah, Traveler, Paimon. And you are? Hey there. <laughs> this is our friend Dia. She's an Aramite mercenary. A mercenary? Hmm, you must have some big news for me. Wanna ask it's you something really important. Please help us out. Alright, then follow me. This place is better. We won't be disturbed by any passerby. Okay, what is this important thing you want to ask me? The doctor, huh? He's that strange-looking Fatui Harbinger with the mask! Paimon thinks he has blue hair! I'm pretty sure we talked about, uh, with Tainari in the us about the doctor and the balladeer. Now asking if we if you ever have you ever met the doctor, is it? Yes, I know him. Okay, Tenari knows him. Actually, he left Parties DI just a little while ago. He left already? Yeah, he came looking for me. No. Can I ask what it was about? Sorry to ask you like this after having just met. But your answer is very important to us. For now, all we can share with you is that your friend Sino is working with us. Sino, you say? Hmm. I see. So that's why he hasn't been at the academia. Okay. I will answer your questions and will assist you any way I can. You don't have to tell me everything that's happened. <laughs> Sino's name really does work wonders. You're not even a little worried that we might have made it all up? Despite having just met you, I can sense that you're the serious type. Between you, the Traveler, and Sino, none of you strike me as the type that would conspire to deceive me. You don't need to tell me anything you don't want to. I'll also get straight to the point. Okay, the that makes things you easy. The came to me because he wanted to take the scholar Hapasia away with him. Oh, but he didn't because we saw her there just now. What do you mean by take away? Is he planning to leave Sumeru? Yes. He told me his return to Snezhnaya is imminent. Okay, so he returned. So you mean... You're leaving this place soon? Indeed. Otherwise, we could have perhaps talked a little more. I was just about to set out when I remembered something important. To that end, I made a final trip to Pardis Di. Let me ask, have you been taking care of a scholar by the name of Hypatia? How did you know about Hypatia? Your sources are accurate. <laughs> no doubt because you recruited many informants. Okay. But you're right. Hypatia has indeed been receiving treatment from me. Forgive me for asking, but how's the treatment coming along? Given the way you're asking, I assume you have something to say. Since you asked, I'll be frank. I would like to take Hypatia to Snezhnaya. Why? It's incredibly difficult to transfer a patient. As a scholar yourself, shouldn't you at least be aware of this? Oh. I can't believe your utter lack of faith in me. To the point of even questioning my general level of knowledge. How unbefitting. 
Well, you're the only one who's ever made such a request. I have my ways of keeping her safe during the journey. In addition, I can also promise that under my care, Hapasia will receive the most advanced and effective treatment. I will personally supervise her treatment and see to her recovery. Would that be agreeable to you? <clears throat> Hapasia was born in Sumeru and remains a scholar of the Academia. Her situation has not become dire enough to necessitate her transfer to another nation. Transporting her to Snezhnaya is risky, and the potential benefits are unknown. As the person currently responsible for her treatment, I cannot possibly sign off on this transfer. Your suggestion is rude and reckless. I'll pass. Okay. I don't know much about the doctor, but after talking with him, I realized that, just like many other scholars, he possesses an aura of arrogance that I've come to detest. It's not so much that he's looking down on others, but more that he's so confident in himself and his abilities to a point of near insanity. I would never refer a patient to someone like him. Do you think he'll just give up on her? I prepared myself for a protracted battle of wits <laughs> and was really surprised to see him just give up on the topic. Still, his reaction really concerned me. Mm hmm. What happened? <laughs> I see, I see. Of course, your opinion makes perfect sense. <laughs> You're still young, but already quite stubborn. I must say, you are not like what I had expected. Hmm? Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't just let you off the hook like this. But unfortunately, I'm in a hurry today. What with her most noble majesty, the Tsaritsa, calling for our return. The Tsaritsa is calling all the Harbingers? So, he's in a hurry. Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. It's just as the Academia said. You're a responsible and gifted scholar. Sadly, even with all of oh, that, I don't think this is the real doctor. And that's also why people like you can never realize that sooner or later, everyone must pay the price for what they've learned. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can see why that's concerning. Uh, I don't can't yeah. help but feel like he's hinting at something unpleasant. He asked a question. Yet didn't care for my answer. Perhaps I'm nothing but a talking rock in his eyes. <laughs> he never came off as malicious, but an utter lack of compassion permeated throughout our conversation. From his tone, I can sense that he's always looked down on others. <sighs> oh, he left Sumeru. What the hell? He's in a hurry, so we don't have to worry about him then. I can barely believe it myself. <clears throat> but if that's true, the yeah. situation will be in our favor. How convenient that we don't have to deal with him not right now. I don't think I missed any details. Frankly speaking, I don't want you to do anything too risky. Now that you know a little more, it should be easier for you to stay safe. Okay. Sorry, we can't tell you everything. We appreciate that you helped us anyway. I won't forget your kindness. It's okay. I have an obligation to do so. To be perfectly honest, all of this may have started because of me. What? Recently, my master wrote several letters to me, asking me to return to this the is, Academia yeah. and assist him with his research. Hasn't he already asked you several times before? But... Yes, he but... declined it. There's something off about this most recent batch of letters. The handwriting and tone are both familiar, but some details have been omitted. Mm -hmm. My master will occasionally leave a few dots on the back of the letter. One dot means that he wrote the letter on a sunny day, hmm. and three dots stand for a rainy day. This okay. has been a habit of his for many years. But no dots. But I didn't find any dots in his recent letters. I believe something may have happened to him. Mm. Then the letters are sus. I get it. Since you are always at Gandarvaville, 
you were like me, someone already working at the academia, to investigate this matter, right? Oh. I'd like to ask you to do that for me. If you can keep yourself safe, please withdraw immediately at the first hint of danger. I can do that, but I have a feeling it won't be that simple. Is this the academia started? has been working on a big project. I'm not quite sure what it is, but your master might be involved with it. If the higher ups really are hiding something, then it will be difficult to remove myself from the situation once the investigation starts. If the situation becomes critical, I'll leave the oh. academia. If you don't see me there for an extended period, that's your cue. That's why. All right. That's what the other thing is. He's kind I'll of stay responsible. At to support you. If that scenario comes to pass, you must be extra vigilant and be wary of any messages or direct requests from the academia. I must say. I didn't expect a warning like this from the General Mahamatra. Being loyal to the Academia doesn't mean blindly doing whatever the Sages say. I know what I'm doing. On that note, aren't you also being quite distrustful of your alma mater? The Academia, yes, but my master is a man of integrity. Even when I was a student, I was worried he'd get in trouble for sticking to his beliefs. I suppose he's lucky to have lasted so long. But in the end still caught up to him okay I see so you noticed something was up with the academia from the very beginning this may well be how Sino became involved in all this in that case I must keep my promise and help you however I can also if you run into Sino again please help me pass on a message to him Trust your own senses and experiences. I think this may be something he needs to hear right now. Okay, we'll find a chance to tell him. Thanks. Right. Now let's go hunt down this harbinger. Okay. Oh, by the way, which way did the doctor go when he left Pardis DI? We're still hunting for him because he left. That way. Gotcha. Thanks so much. We'll be on our way. Well, we don't have the confirmation that he's leaving now. Okay. Need to see. According to Tainari, the doctor is leaving Sumeru soon. Yeah. I want to check be lying. if the doctor was actually telling the truth. He also said that he'll take care of everything before he leaves. What did he mean by that? We need to be extra careful when dealing with a person like him. Just to be safe, let's chase him and see what we find. But we have no idea where he went! How can we start chasing him? We'll do it the mercenary way. I'll find leads as we go. All you have to do is just follow me. Okay. <laughs> that Harbinger may have we tried really to have a deal. Trail, but he still left some traces. Oh. Or perhaps he never even thought you about have a DL, what model already what? Maybe Look that's at just that. how arrogant he really is. Yep, we're headed in the right direction. Mm, the you traces are here. still fresh, but there's no sign of his entourage. Get up. Clearly they're in a hurry. Get up. <laughs> Got sweet flower in it. Hmm, it's just as I thought. Dia should come out soon. And I'll hate them. I'll probably stay a long way to Ah. Uh. Oh. We can stop here. I think I know where the doctor went. Just by running? To the south of here is Port Ormos, uh -huh. which seems to be where they're headed. Port Ormos? They're going to leave by boat? That's right. Let's go to the port and have a look for ourselves. Go to Port Ormos. Okay. Can I just teleport there? Thanks to Dia's tracking skills, seems we found the right place. Shh, don't draw their attention. 
Yeah, find one you're too noisy. <laughs> the port is crawling with Fatui soldiers. Oh no. Let's keep going and see what we can find. Are we going to sneak? Oh no. This is a proper it is. farewell ceremony for a SNES 9 Harbinger. The Lord Harbinger is leaving. <sighs> I've still only seen him once or twice. We want them to see us there. Come on. I used to hold a position in our homeland. Back then, the doctor spoke in a very different way from the way he speaks now. Maybe the way people talk in Sumeru has rubbed off on him? It's always like that when you spend too long away from home. When he gets back to Snezhnaya, perhaps it will also take him some time to get used to the life there again. Huh? But, sir, that... that can't be right. This is a bit no, dangerous. No, I remember it like it was yesterday. Both his expressions and tones are now very different. Also, for some reason, he seems like he's all smiles now. You must be mistaken. Nobody's supposed to look happy when they're on a business trip. The doctor is on that boat. Hide yourself in one colorful boat. <laughs> so oh, he okay. told the truth after all. He is. <laughs> Do. We can hide here while we keep an eye on the boat. The doctor didn't lie about leaving Sumeru, but could it be that simple? He's probably planning something though. I don't think it's that simple. Huh? Hmm? Uh -oh. What happened? He he saw us. Um he just waved at us? Huh? It's time to say goodbye. Wait, is he the only person on the boat? Huh? Uh, you mean there's nobody with him? And where are all the soldiers we saw on the port just now? Eh? They were all here Thought just they were a loading. few minutes ago. <laughs> Thought they were loading. But now they vanished. What does this mean? There's nobody around. Wait, don't tell me that. Huh? Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. Take care of everything before I leave. Oh no. Huh? They might be after Hapasia. Let's get back to Party's DI. No. What, what do you mean? Yeah, Hepasia connected to consciousness, yes. I'm afraid that she's seen something that she wasn't supposed to see. If I were the Fatui, I would also try to take her away. And if I couldn't... Oh, oh no! Are you saying they're going to kill her? Let's go! What? And now people are back. Run as quickly as possible. Let's just teleport. God damn it. Party's DI is not a place you for two weeks yeah, just good, show yeah. up and do as you please. I believe we've already made ourselves quite clear. Our superior gave us permission to search for and collect medicinal herbs in Pardius DI for research purposes. No, you're not collecting medicinal herbs. You're here for Hypasia. But you've been in Sumeru for some time already. I find it coincidental that you chose to only come here today. Even the Grand Sage himself may not have the right to question our research, much less an ordinary scholar like yourself. I've done my duty to inform you. Don't make things difficult for yourself. It would seem that my words have fallen on deaf ears. You can keep trying to deny it, but coming to Party's DI now? I'm pretty sure you're not just looking for herbs. <laughs> With all due respect, your baseless speculations will only lead to unnecessary trouble. Well, you only have your harbinger to blame. He knows nothing about keeping a low profile. I may be staying at Party's DI as a scholar, but that doesn't mean I'm no longer a forest watcher. It is still my duty to protect oh, the oh, peace oh. and safety of the scholars who have contributed so much to Sumeru. So we are using Tanari again. Then it seems our conversation has hit an impasse. No one will lay a hand on you, Hapasia. 
Not on my watch. Oh shit. No Western Navi, I don't have to Navi even touch them. Really cross the line. Time to teach him a lesson. Only these play. two? Okay, I thought there were three. I see everything. Make yourselves at home. I will have order. There's no use resisting. Give us the patience. Keep dreaming. Oh, they're not here. Yes. Order guide you. Yahoo! Oh. There we go. We're not getting anywhere. Traveler, Paimon, please go to Hypatia. We need to make sure they don't try to sneak around and attack from behind. Got it! She's just sleeping here. Well, how is she? Oh, that's good. Oh. So, you think this is over? Oh, shit, Scaramouche. Why are you talking to us from here? From here? Yeah. What? that look of abject horror you've given me that look every time we meet <sighs> but uh where is he paimon can't see him the balladeer in her consciousness i can hear all of your thoughts you know don't you remember I already saw you the first time you came to Party's DI and made contact with Hypatia. I didn't need to do anything. It is her honor to be able to connect her consciousness with me. Mm -hmm. Uh, who are you talking to? It can't be the Balladeer, right? <laughs> That's impossible. I know you must be curious. I might as well tell you that I decided to enter Hypatia's consciousness the moment I sensed your touch. I wanted to observe you on a fool's errand. Uh, hey, Traveler! Wh what are you doing? I'm on shush. My deification is nearly complete. All that's left now are just some final details. Do you understand? Even if you manage to rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali, it will be impossible for you to defeat a bona fide uh -huh. god like me. Is it wise to force that childlike god into a divine battle against me? Scholars consider the god of wisdom to be the sum total of their faith. It's how they can justify reverence for a god as they construct it. But this also shows that humanity's worship of gods is a combination of blasphemy and exaltation. It's truly laughable. Yes. What is it? Acting more friendly than usual. Yeah, I'm in a good mood. Which is why I'm talking to you like this. What do you mean? Yeah. Mm hmm. But you still want to become a god, even if it means losing yourself. <laughs> Those words almost make you sound like a friend who actually cares. But you're wrong. I'm different from all of you. I was born to become a god. My entire life up until this point has just been a meaningless routine. 
Just think about a sheet of paper. By itself, it holds no meaning. The content recorded on it is what gives it value. All I had recorded down before were some painful memories and boring human feelings. Such senseless drivel should have been erased a long time ago. Indeed, to me, the sight of you fools in your futile struggles is far more amusing. Mm -hmm. Tell me, just what has this world done for you to protect it with such zest and conviction? I'm connected to your consciousness, so I can hear what you're thinking and sense the depth of your determination. This is a good conversation we're having. So here's a word of advice. Let go of your misguided guardian complex. You know nothing about the truth. It'll be for your own good, as well as everyone else's. Humans are a species that can only find bliss in ignorance. Mm -hmm. Ah, you've seen my affection for her. If you were in my position, I think you'd feel the same way. She peered into my consciousness and saw my past. Someone like that is qualified to become my first follower. Makes sense. She <laughs> yes, she. The Baladia has a follower now. All gods need followers. So Hapasia has been chosen. Her appearance heralds my imminent arrival at the throne of divinity, while her worship shall become my glory. So why would the Tifatui want to take her? You're doubting Friend me again. Ballad, yeah. <laughs> no matter. Soon, you'll know what kind of authority you're challenging. I see. Yeah, I'll protect her from harm this Who wants to hurt my devout follower? Why is the Fatui one her now? Yeah, the doctor does not wish for her to stay. The doctor wants to hurt my first follower? Hmm. <laughs> or is it something else? <laughs> How very amusing. Has anyone ever told you that you're not good at sowing discord? The doctor has never known his place. Even now, the puny human thinks himself capable of interfering in the business of the new god. Hmm? You're still too naive if you think a few words will be enough to convince me to destroy the doctor. But I'm willing to give you a gift. Just like my expression of affection towards Hapasia. It is an honor for you to be able to stand here and speak with me. As my listener, you will be rewarded. Both good things and bad things can be called gifts. After all, gods have never needed to be reasonable. Ah! Paimon used thunder! That person Paimon couldn't see was the Belladier? Mm -hmm. Oh, he sure chatted with you for a while. Oh, boy. Uh, where is the storm headed? Is the Belladier using the Gnosis to change the weather? Check on Tanari and Dia. And it's raining in Sumeru. What the hell? Usually it's in the woods that's raining. Oh, this is like Inazuma all over again. The two of them are fine. Uh, it seems Tenari's been struck. <laughs> He's hurt. Yeah. I'm fine. Don't move. I've seen Aramites get struck by lightning before. You need to rest. Struck by lightning? Ouch. We were fighting, and just as things started looking grim, the weather suddenly became extremely strange. Lightning started attacking everyone, almost as if... It were alive. Luckily, there were only two of us, and both of us were nimble enough to dodge most of the strikes. There were a lot of Fatui, though, and they were being torn to shreds by the bolts of lightning. 
With that, all the Fatui soldiers were forced to retreat. It's all right. So it seems the doctor and the Belladier are not doing the same plan. I think. My wound aside, you look like. Not sure. You've seen something unpleasant. Is Hapasia all right? Oh. Hey, didn't I tell you not to move? Just in case. Let's go to Hapasia's place and talk about things there. Oh boy. Go to where Hapasia is. Hopefully not get struck by lightning. Oh man, there is lightning. Okay. Enjoy every day with a drink in my hand, tasty food in my stomach, and a good night's rest. That's enough. I'll only <laughs> work when I have to. <laughs> I must be the least ambitious person who's ever set foot in parties, DI. Don't say that. I haven't even thanked you for your help back there. Don't mention it. Well, if nothing else, all this proves that the doctor really did have some urgent matter to attend to and left Sumeru in a hurry. Yeah. I think the ballad is the reason why the doctor is targeting Hypasia. Her consciousness connected to the ballad yeah, and she has seen his past. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe the Fatui want to cover up some secret of the balladier. Is that why they tried to seize Hypasia? Hmm. You said That's what the balladier claimed that Hypasia has seen his past. So, what could be there? Have you noticed? The balladeer is not happy with the doctor's actions. Yeah, they're not he thinks doing the doctor the same has plan, no right whatever. to consider himself as his equal. So, if the doctor was to show up again, would the balladeer <laughs> zap him with lightning? Yeah. Based on what the traveler has said, I think he would. Having the doctor gone benefits him as well as us. In other words, we've successfully completed the stage of the plan. The doctor is out of the picture now. I'm also happy for you. Thank you for the help, Tainari. Make sure you rest up for now. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, that wraps things up for us here at Party's DI. Traveler, it's about time we rendezvous with the others at the Grand Bazaar. We have to go through the lightning, though. Let's continue to keep a low profile. You can head there once you're ready. <laughs> Head to the Grand Bazaar in this rain. Seven to nine. That's a lot of uh Everyone hold hands. <laughs> the weather is lovely and warm. Oh stop. Things are about to start getting lively again. Oh it stopped already. And Hey Tanari is sitting on <laughs> I was wondering where he was. On Kakata. Focus on your plan. Leave a patient to me. My wound isn't going to get in the way. Oh. Okay. Guess I'll sit still for a little while longer. Oh, now I'm curious. What if you haven't done Sino Story Quest? Kakata won't be here, right? Huh. Okay.
So wait until 79 and we have to go to the Grand Bazaar. Go to the Grand Bazaar. Back to Samara City. The Grand Bazaar is down here. I'll hate them. All right, everyone is here. How did everything go? Any luck with your missions? Let's report back one by one. I'll start first. We've made the necessary modifications to the Akasha terminal. In addition, the props required are also ready. I'll go next. The Traveler and I went to Party's DI. The situation was a bit complicated, but we found Tainari. Unfortunately, he was wounded during a fight. Who is behind it? The Balladeer. Uh, well, that's the tough part. What should I say, Traveler? Oh, both. The Fatui or the Balladeer? Let's go with the Balladeer. <laughs> After some back and forth, we confirm that the doctor has left Sumeru by boat. He has something urgent to attend to back in Snezhnaya. So, we've successfully removed the doctor from the picture. Also, Tainari's already resting, so he'll be okay. Oh yeah, pass the message to Sino. Oh, Kainari also asked us to tell you this message. Trust your own senses and experiences. <sighs> Alright, I'll remember that. Everything also went smoothly on my side. The Aramites should have arrived at their destination by now. To avoid alerting the quarry, they will stay there for now. I can't believe you actually got so many Aramites <laughs> into Sumeru City. It's all thanks to Ramon and his brave team, as well as their bold strategy. It appears to have been very effective. I'm glad to hear it. Well, is that everything? Okay, this meeting is adjourned. Huh? Wait, you mean that's it? Well, what else is there to discuss? Shouldn't you end with some words of encouragement? Again. You know, to fire us up now? Personally, I'd rather we all go home and get some rest. <sighs> I'll hate them, you... Ugh. Oh, and if you wanted someone to say something to that effect, then I must reiterate that I'm here to strategize and not to lead. Mm -hmm. So you should find someone more suitable to do that. But I thought all of you Academia Big Shots were great speakers. Then I should remind you that I'm the scribe. I know that. So what? A scribe is responsible for recording meetings, not speaking. Fine, whatever. Well, Sino doesn't seem to be much of a talker either. I guess that leaves it to my employer. Employer? <laughs> yep. The Traveler hired me. <laughs> That's right. So come on, boss. What do you have to say for the team? Yeah! Say something to boost morale! I mean, the Traveler doesn't even speak as well. We're just picking the dialogue options. Huh? Yeah. What are you all doing here? Nilo! Oh, it's Nilo! Hey, everyone. I'm not disturbing you, am I? Not at all. I was actually just about to go find you. <laughs> uh, judging from the group and all your serious faces, you were discussing something important, weren't you? But you also look like you're up to no good. <laughs> <laughs> Seems pretty interesting. Welcome, Nilu. Would you like to join us? Huh? Join you? You mean, you also want to discuss something important with me? Yes, something very important. Nilu, are there any breaks in your performance schedule in the upcoming days? Huh? Wait, you're seriously inviting me? Oh, okay. Nilo is sharp, but as long as it's bubbling with excitement and anticipation. I... I can't believe my ears. You are truly the bravest and most passionate people of Sumeru. Well, that I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. The Traveler and Paimon are not from Sumeru, but you are awesome as well. 
<laughs> That's right. I... I must admit that I'm a little scared, but I'll try my best for Lesser Lord Kusanali. If I can somehow use my abilities to help you, then count me in. Remember, believe in yourself. Okay. I'll get my friends at the Grand Bazaar to help us tomorrow. Just remember not to say too much. Be discreet. Yep, you got it. Okay. All the preparations are done. Now, some can we finally the conclude this meeting? So, have you thought up what you'd like to say, boss? It's hard to believe everything has happened to now, all, and our actions have been changed to make things tomorrow. Yep, yep! Hmm. It's a grand okay. plan! <laughs> Same line with I'll hate them basically. Well said. A good night's rest before an operation can be the difference between success and failure. <sighs> Thankfully, I've had my place to myself recently. It's been nice and quiet. Huh? Oh, um, nothing. I guess that means it's time to say goodnight now. Yep! Goodnight, everyone! Okay, Victory Road. Janabadi. Uh, it's still an hour. I still have time. We'll keep going. Finish the preparations required to put the plan into action. So far, we are still haven't started the, the plan the next day, 8 to 12. Wait, 8 to 12. And... Just that it put at the top, and there he is. <laughs> Hello, you two. Sleep well? Uh, not really. I don't got too nervous thinking about today and didn't fall asleep until the sun was almost up. What about you all, Hatham? Naturally, I slept just fine. After all, a good rest should be considered part of the plan since energy is an important resource. Yeah. You just want to <laughs> show up how calm. It's crucial to dissipate any tension before we execute our plan. The only thing you're doing is being annoying! <laughs> anyway, do you need me to go over the game plan again? Just in case. Our target is Grand Sage Azar's office. His Everyone office. in the Academia knows that's where the Grand Sage's console is. Only they can operate it. The Grand Sage's console. Many restricted commands and operations are executed via that console. I'm sure that console has a way to free Lesser Lord Kusanali. So we're gonna take that console to free her? You know, Hyman's been thinking, what kind of technology could let the sages imprison even a god? You saw that thing when we were in her mind. That isn't something they could have accomplished with their scholarly talents alone. In the sanctuary of Surasthana, there's a device of Greater Lord Ruka Devata's that she once used to isolate herself while meditating. So they use the same thing. 500 years ago, the Grand Sage at the time modified the device so that it can no longer be controlled from the inside. They were effectively trapping one god with the power of another. 500 years ago. So, uh, how are we gonna get to the Grand Sage's office? Don't forget, today is Nyagarbaha Day. Arguably the most important day to the Academia. The Sages and Core Academia personnel are busy loading the latest batch of research developments and legal decrees into knowledge capsules so that they can be entered into the Akasha. All the Darshan's researchers have their noses to the grindstone, and the Academia's grounds are flowing with all sorts of people. It's the perfect time for an infiltration. When the Grand Sage leaves his office to supervise the entering process, that's our cue to access the console and free the Dendro Archon. Well, yes. 
That's just the visible side of our plan, after all. If precedence holds, the Academia should have already started preparing for Niagarbaha Day. Everyone should be in position. All that's left is for us to lead the charge. Let's go. Okay. Uh, so are we just gonna walk yes, in through the front door? What is this plan or... that we're doing to Yes. Get were you expecting a stealthier approach? Yeah. You're not just gonna enter the door and just meet him like uh, that? If we're going into the academia with I'll hit them, does that mean I'll hit them's gonna like show he brought the traveler because he was waiting for the traveler, right? Is that what's going on? We're just gonna enter. Let's see. We're entering. Scribe? Please wait. Are you Scribe Alhatham? <laughs> hmm? Tom Tom Fahun. That's me. Is something the matter? I'm in a hurry. Uh, no. I was just surprised to see you here. I had heard that the sages were looking for you not long ago, but I didn't know what for. <clears throat> well, that's perfect. And, um, also, please don't bring outside guests into the academia. I'll hate them, you said you are looking for us, right? Outside guests? How did you arrive at such a conclusion? <laughs> Your groundless inference shames the Haravata Darshan. What? what did you say? I'm the top student in Haravata, and I earned <laughs> third place at the last inter-Darshan debate. Don't look down on me! That wasn't my intention. As your Haravata senior, I just assumed that you possessed a greater aptitude for critical thinking. Look, based on what you already know, the purpose of my return and the reason they're here should be obvious. Is that so? Wait a moment. Let me think. <laughs> Don't tell me the answer. The sages search for you. Yeah. A blonde haired traveler. Outside guests. Yeah, link the dots together. So, from the start, the sages weren't looking for you, but this traveler? And you were gone from the academia for so long because... He was looking for us. Hey, shh. Yes, you've proven <laughs> yourself as the top student in Haravatat. I surmise nice. you've arrived at the correct conclusion. As I expected. Uh, please, forgive me. I wasn't thinking clearly just now. Thank you for getting me back on track. It's nothing. We'll be on our way then. Alright. Thank you for your contributions to the academia, scribe. <laughs> uh, what the heck just happened now? What did he just guess? Well, I'll hit them as a mission to bring us, right? I'm afraid I don't know either. You <laughs> I don't no know idea? either. Even he has no idea, really. Mm -hmm. He convinced himself of whatever truth he came up with. That is the so called pride of a scholar. <laughs> if someone questions their academic facility, they will instantly feign understanding to keep up appearances. Nowadays, the academia is rampant with this type of scholar. Their obvious farces of intellect only serve to highlight themselves as fools. Wow, so there are special ways to deal with smart people. We don't even need to make up our own excuses. Wow. Uh, we shouldn't waste any more time. It would be problematic <laughs> we if we missed the window know. of opportunity. <clears throat> we don't even know what was it. Alama. Okay. I thought that was the reason. I thought that was the plan. Even Alhitan doesn't know what. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> I've been in here, but I never went to the top of the office. Enter house and turn now. <clears throat> Is this the Academia's library? Yep, we went in once. Indeed. 
Known as the House of Dana, it is quite possibly the most extensive special collections library in Tavat. Uh, there are a lot of students going through here. Is it really okay just to waltz right in? The Academia marches to a fast beat, especially since it's near Garbaha Day. They're all occupied with their own matters. Just act natural. Now, hurry along. Alright. Oh, I'm using the Traveler. Hide for now, wait for an opportunity. Wait, I have to hide. But I have no hide button. Um, How do I hide when these two are facing me? Can we just walk? Okay. <laughs> sure. What's this platform for? There's a lift to go up, right? It's a lift that academia personnel use to access higher floors. Are we gonna take it then? The Grand Sage's office is up there somewhere. No, not right now. We can't guarantee that we won't run into the Great Sage. Let's step back and observe for now. Okay, so don't go up straight away. You think the Grand Sage will exit from there? And after he does, we'd sneak past him? Oh, yeah, that's Prima really thinks that's really dangerous. dangerous. Who knows? However, if we can confirm Azar's current location, our operation will be much safer if we... Hmm? Allow me to offer you a hint. Azar. If you wish to know his location, oh, look behind. <laughs> oh shit, I'm past it. The Grand City is right here. Ah, you're, you're, what's Grand City Azar doing here? He's here. Oh no. Tell me you believed the academia would not grow suspicious of you after such a prolonged absence. Prolonged Scribe. Absence. An eyewitness had informed me of your whereabouts, so I came to personally welcome you. So yeah, he already knows that he is already somewhere. Great Sage, I didn't expect you to care so much about me. I'm truly flattered. I'm sure. But compared to you, I am far more interested in these two unexpected guests. You are the Traveler and hmm. Paimon, correct? It's a pity that only now have I been afforded the opportunity to formally meet two of Sumeru's most esteemed guests. I do apologize for my lack of decorum. Excellent. You immediately initiated discussion instead of attempting to prepare some perfunctory excuse. You clearly understand the situation at hand and have no intention of making a reckless stand. Damn this Azar. Do you know you're the most hated in this game right now? <laughs> the foot traffic here renders this place unsuitable for discussion. Please follow me to my office. Okay, so we're straight going to the office. That sounds like the lift. This place is crawling with guards. There's no way out for us. Alright then, traveler. What did you wish to discuss with me? Today is Niagarbaha Day, so I still have many responsibilities to attend to. There is little time for idle chit chat before I detain you all. The Fatui are not to be trusted. The Fatui have ulterior motives. You seem to know quite a bit about our endeavors. If that is so, then you should be praising our great work rather than using your trivial misgivings in a futile attempt to sway me. Trivial? Then tell me, what do the Fatui want from me? A gnosis, probably. Or benefits of some kind. <laughs> worthless. Those are all completely worthless. Benefits, divine power. These materialistic words do nothing but debase our great work. Creating a god. Yes, we are using human wisdom to create a god. What the hell? Man? If humanity cannot attain omniscience and omnipotence, then we shall create a god to reveal them. This is the pinnacle of human wisdom. 
We shall regain a god's guidance at long last. No longer will we flounder in the interminable void of consciousness and knowledge. Even Ermin's soul will be freed from its plight. For our nation of scholars, this is the ultimate aspiration. No cost is too great to realize This is it. the pinnacle of human wisdom, but in the end you are relying on the god still. You will never understand the rapture of having a god be born within your very hands. With your degree <laughs> of knowledge, you cannot even comprehend such an emotion. What about Lesser Locus and Ali? It's not like Sumeru have a god of his own already. Gods exist on a plane that far eclipses humanities. Lesser Lord Kusanali, what can she even do? Care for the people? Fend off sandstorms? Fabricate silly fairy tales? <laughs> These are but child's play for the academia. Does that make us equal to the gods? We are a people favored by Greater Lord Rukadevata. Though I may have personally not seen it, our forefathers bore witness to true wisdom. The ascension of the Lesser Lord has brought nothing but bewilderment to the scholars. They all ask, is that truly what true wisdom is supposed to look like? With that in mind, it is better to keep her isolated in the sanctuary of Suristhana, so our academy will Damn not it, be embroiled in turmoil. Hold on, I need to get my charger. I didn't expect my battery to be low. As per your judgment, Grand Sage, they are indeed dangerous individuals. Not only are they acting against the academia, but their ideologies have the potential to lead scholars astray. Looks like there really was merit in my assignment. Oh, hey, them? Are you talking about us? Anyway, I've brought them to the academia as ordered, but it took some time and trouble. He's going with the... Saying that he's bringing the two to them, to him. Okay, I see. Oh, that reminds me. Here is the investigation report you had requested. That's where we got the... It's a summary of my time spent with the Traveler. Uh -huh. An array of information about him ready for your perusal. You see? Perusal? I'll hit them. What is this plan? Hold on. No, I think this is just an act. Hold we on. Finally started to track you. I think we're just acting. Pretty sure this is this is the plan, right? We just said we've been set up. I'll hate them. <laughs> Surely it's the plan, right? Yeah. Does he buy it? Okay, I think he buys it. Hopefully this is what is going on. I would expect nothing less than an That's why we we had uh we had the information in, in that thing. Okay, okay, okay. Detailed contents with no errors. As it is near Garbaha Day, I'll enter the information on you into the Akasha. Surely you know what that means. We have they have information on us now. That's why they were looking for us. We'll be monitored, just like Sino. With the Akasha's calculation prowess, all of your actions will be predicted with an accuracy of at least 98%. Furthermore, your data will be updated in real time whenever new information presents itself. To put it into words you can understand, wherever you go, you will be walking under an invisible leash. This is Sumeru's greatest penalty for dishonest persons. When you say dishonest person, does that include General Mahamatra? Are you not familiar with the concept that great responsibility begets an equally great suspicion? In any case, you are Sumeru's most concerning external variable. Locking you down will greatly decrease the chance of any undesirable outcomes coming to pass. You're despicable! Despicable? <laughs> Perhaps from your perspective, but I suppose you had mentally prepared yourselves for this, no? Hmm? 
What do you mean? Your ploy was to sacrifice the traveler here, was it not? Your ploy was to sacrifice the traveler? Uh... Lord Azar, I know what you're trying to say, but I've been following your plan this entire time. Why are you doubting me at this juncture? Oh, maybe he knows that we're up to something. <sighs> Must I delineate your entire plan? Very well, I will spell things out. First off, I received an eyewitness report that you were spotted with the traveler yeah, caravan. Yeah, so he Rebont. knows. However, you immediately departed for the desert and escaped. He knows about range. that. He already knows. Judging by the time, you all likely encountered the truant General Mahamatra in the desert. Am I correct? <sighs> Maybe Paimon shouldn't have mentioned Sino just now. Damn it, Paimon. The Academia had not received correspondence from its scribe for a prolonged time. You were also in the company of the Traveler, a close associate of Lesser Lord Kusanali and General Mahamatra Sino, who had defected from the Academia. He knows. With their instigation, what him. was the probability that you would betray the Academia? Rationally speaking, 50%? 70%? What do you think? Probably. Regardless, that's, that's only a guess. guess. The facts are that I've brought the Traveler right before you, and I gave you my report. But there is suspicion, right? Grand Azas... Sus... Sus... Indeed. Your boldness deserves praise. To think that despite status as an outlander, the Traveler is still willing to sacrifice for the sake of your plan. If I'm correct, you have a contingency plan to save Lesser Lord Kusanali and ruin our great work. Sneak into the Academia on Nia Garbaha Day using Alhatham's status as the scribe. For there is a good chance that an opportunity to save the Lesser Lord will arise. Yeah, we were actually looking for that device. Should your intentions be discovered, all Hatha will turn traitor and sacrifice the traveler. Damn, he knows thus you. proving his innocence. He can then stay inside the academia and continue searching for a way to proceed forward. As for Sino, according to the Akasha's calculations, he will soon return to the academia and confront me in person. I suppose this is also a part of your plan? Um, There is also the Aramites though. Does he know that too? <laughs> You'll see me as a traitor regardless of what I say, no? Even if you impugn me, it would have little effect on you all. You misunderstand. Losing our scribe would irreparably damage the Academia's regular operations and the development of Sumeru's future academic systems. However, under the current circumstances, even that is trivial compared to what we stand to gain from our great work. You said that I betrayed the Academia, but you, Azar, you've betrayed all of Sumeru, betrayed its Archon. Yeah. So flight is turned to fight at long last. You have to fight them? Guards! Oh wait, what is Alhitham about to do? Or are we just fighting them? Okay, we are fighting them. Oh, no, it's a scene. Alhitham, what are you doing? Uh, wait, what? Wait, you took the divine knowledge cap still? Oh shit. Oh shit. What? Well, what do we have here? So you stole that divine knowledge capsule. Wait, he you used traitor. it? You traitor! <laughs> Even the most rational scholar will yearn for the power of a god in a moment of desperation. Aren't you doing the exact same thing as me, Oth Hatham? Unfortunately for you, no god will lend you their power. Azar! Oh shit. Oh shit. He has gone completely insane. 
Oh no. Ow. What's this? This doesn't look like part Take of the plan. Him to the mantra and exile him to Aru village. Exactly. Then find someone to take these two to the confinement room. I'll deal with them later. Oh shit. Grand Sage, we've finished all required preparations for Nyagarbaha Day. We may begin to enter the capsules now. Excellent. You may begin. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That is part of the plan. That is part of the plan. They swap, they swap the knowledge capsules. Okay, 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 okay. That was the plan. I see. Go back in Let us out! Oh, but we are locked here now. Let me find one. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Paimon got a bit carried away there. How is Paimon back just now? Great, huh? Oh my gosh. Okay, what a. Deserve Oscar, man. Deserve an Oscar. <laughs> Not worse than me. <laughs> Everything's going according to plan so far. It is the plan. We made it into confinement, and all Haytham's probably done with his crew too. Confinement. That was the plan. Okay. I understand. All right. Because when the knowledge of uh, rescuing. Kusanali entered into the Akasha, isn't it? Something that's why we were doing that. Okay. We even managed to trick Grand Sage Azar. I'll hate them. Sure knows how to cook up a plan. So that divine knowledge capsule was was just a fake? What was what that about? What are we doing next? Paimon has trouble remembering things when she's worked up. Yeah, let's review what we discussed. Okay. Right. right. I want to see the full Paimon plan. What was it? it Oh, no, no. What was the plan, actually? Apart from that, we still have yet another goal in the first stage of our operation, which is to send the traveler to the confinement room. We have to be confined. What? Why do we want to get him locked up on purpose? He's always been the person the sages are most afraid of, as well as the greatest obstacle to their successful implementation of their plan. They are very aware of the risk he poses to them. Okay. Once the traveler is imprisoned, the sages will likely think that everything is under control. Okay. And with their guard down, the next phase of our plan will have a so much what higher is the chance next of success. Phase, then? What are we what is the plan? I can already see the pompous looks on their faces. Oh, that's a super tricky plan. But Paimon still thinks it's not really worth it. That isn't the only reason, of course. He has a more important task once he's in confinement. Uh huh. According to the academia scholars in Raman's custody, Lesser Lord Kusanali has sealed off her consciousness in the Akasha ever since she was captured by the Doctor. Sealed, yeah, in the in the Akasha, yes. That way, they can't pry any more information from her. Yes. Even if we break into the sanctuary of Suristhana, it will take time to awaken Lesser Lord Kusanali's consciousness. We need to do that in advance. So our job is to wake up Nahida! Okay, totally worth getting thrown in jail for! How do we wake her up when we are in confinement? The confinement room is inside the Academia, uh -huh. close to the Sanctuary of Suristhana. It's a completely enclosed space, and you won't be receiving any visitors. I'll work with Raman scholars to make some modifications to your Akasha terminal. Once you're in, get as close as you can to Lesser Lord Kusanali and try to connect to her consciousness. Oh, okay, that explains However, it. However, as for whether she'll actually wake up, that will depend on our luck. <sighs> All right. So we have to oh, link I to. You've been wearing your Akashi terminal today. It's the one that Alhazen modified. Paimon thought they'd take our Akashi terminals when they locked us up in here. Hmm. Were they being careless? No, they think the Akasha is under their control, yeah. Alright, so what now? We need to find... To connect to Nahida. Find the place with the best signal in this room. Sounds easy enough! We can finally talk with Nahida after all this time! Let's do it! 
Okay. There's a light flashing on your Akashi terminal. It's almost like... <gasps> the faster it blinks, the better the signal. Find the place with the best signal. It's blinking a bit here. Oh, I think I found it. Oh, it's Mora. God damn it. Oh, Mora. Uh, no, Paimon, we're not here to hunt for treasure. <laughs> it's just Mora. I thought we found the place. God damn it. What a troll. Okay, here is a bit brighter. Hmm. Actually, you can't tell if it's bright or not. It has to blink more, right? Yeah, this is blinking more. Hold on. Here. Don't tell me more again. Yes, it's blinking a lot though. Huh. Still blinking a lot. Mm -hmm. eh? Here, it's slowed down. Here's more. Oh, we're back here. Stop with the trolling with the Mora, come on! Alamak! Stop trolling me with Mora! It's not blinking as fast as before. Ah, finally. Huh? Is this the right spot? Are you getting anything? I have a signal. <laughs> Consciousness. It's all no background. Huh? Ah, Nahida. She really has sealed up her consciousness. Need to wake her up. How do you wake her up? Oh, there's a shield. There's a wall of shield. Some sort of barrier. Is Nahida using this barrier to isolate her consciousness? Nahida! Oh, Traveler voice! Hey, Nahida! Traveler voice again! She can't sense me. Soundproof barrier.
Yeah, she's right in front. Nikita! Oh shit. Can we break the barrier or something? to all these questions since the very beginning, haven't you? The voice. Who are you? Whose Sorry for the voice is voice. that? It sounds familiar. You're right, though. I won't... I won't ignore my own voice anymore. Oh, we broke it with animal. <laughs> Did you wake me up? Thank you. Why are you here? We're here to rescue you. Are you all right? Speaking lines, man. The traveler speaking lines. I'm fine. It's just when I think of everything that's happened to me, I feel really angry now. <laughs> <laughs> you should have been angry ages ago. Damn, we've got lines, man. We're not picking option dialogues anymore. Now he dies awake. That's wonderful news! Great! We weren't locked up for nothing! When you went to wake up Nahida, Paimon was listening for any sound outside. You were out for a long time. There are fewer and fewer scholars going about now. You think everyone's done with their new garba had been? Yep, so that means our next act is Nilo's performance! How is Nilo's performance gonna do on what we're doing? Two hours sooner. I got like maybe half an hour to an hour at most. Nilu, are you sure about this? She's super. You're taking hard. such a great risk for them. I'm sure, and I'm going. You know that I don't like to pass up any opportunity to dance, and this one is especially important. <sighs> Alright. You seem to have a lot of trust in them, so I won't say more on the subject. But if anything happens, the few of us here may not be able to help you. Don't worry. They've been through worse. Everything's going to be fine. Okay. Alright. You know... If you really do get arrested, we'll do everything we can to get you back. Be careful, even if it's only for our sakes. I wonder what, what Nilo's gonna do. Thanks, Mr. Zubair. You're so very kind. I'm just gonna do a dance, but it might get her arrested. Wait, I'm using her. Only. Wait, what? Of course, of course it's no bless. What the hell am I? Okay. Trial character. Always remember that your safety comes first. Don't 
forget that you're the star of Zubair Theater. Okay. Oh, wow. Didn't think we'd be using only like one specific one character only, not like multiple characters. Go to the academia. Does that mean we have to fight? This eh? Farhad and Nilu, how's it going? Some... Nervous? Definitely more than usual. But it's because I'm worried I won't dance well enough. It's okay. Just focus on your performance. We'll take care of everything else. <laughs> you sure know how to talk. Taking all the credit, even though we came here together to help out. Well, Thank you both. I'll have to treat you to a meal after all this ends. I really, really appreciate all of your help. Ooh, that sounds great. Huh. How can we say no to that? All right, let's get back to business. Nilu, we'll be here to keep people from going to the academia so they don't interrupt your performance. Keep people from going. I was planning on telling okay. them something like the academia has been conducting a weird experiment and some of their test subjects escaped. It's really dangerous there, so stay away. Oh, you couldn't think of anything <laughs> better? Uh, oh well, I guess it does sound like something the academia would do. <laughs> I think it sounds great. I'm counting on you guys. Don't worry, it'll be a piece of cake. Right. I just realized the map has no waypoints at all. This is new. There's no waypoints. And I there's no menu as well. Hmm. Hey, Nilu! Sorry, it's great to see you, but I'm really busy right now. Our bait people away with Yalta Candy's plan is working beautifully. Do you want some candy? We have more than we can give out. Of course. Vihar, thank you so much for doing all of this. And even dressed up as the Knight of Flowers, no less. I'll pass on the candy, though. I cut back on sweets in the period leading up to a performance, and I'm about to start one. <laughs> you have a point. The stage is cleared and everything's ready, so you can start your performance at any time. Yeah, thanks to you. I'm really grateful. All right. Time to hit the stage. You're welcome. The honor's all mine since I'll have such a great view of the show. Oh boy, here we go. Right in front of the academia. <laughs> I've never seen a performance like this. This is incredible. Performances like these have been banned. I can't believe she's doing this here. Screw the rules. <laughs> Grand Sage, there's some commotion outside. I see. How uninteresting. Issue the new prohibition act from the Akasha to the guards. They'll know what to do. Hey, he's still. Uh, do you think we should, like, stop her? Let's just watch for a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. All public performance, uh, wait, what? Escape from the sanctuary. It changed. It changed just now. It says public performances, but then it changed something else. Yeah, there. It changed to something else. Oh. It changed. I see. Nice.
So now Need to complete the task then. Yep, yep. It's great that everything seems to be going well. Nice. Come to think of it, when did I hate them replace the knowledge capsule that was about to he be He pretended the that he had been corrupted. Yeah, okay. Oh, so that's when he did yeah. it. Yeah, he wasn't actually corrupted. Yes. Oh, it's a time-tested trick of his. <laughs> <sighs> Why are we complimenting him? <laughs> Five yeah, he's smart with you. now, but he still makes time on blood boil. <sighs> Let's review our plan for this stage again. It's not like we have anything else to do right now anyway, and it'll help us feel more confident. Paima remembers that Nilo's task was supposed to go a bit like this. Now that Lesser Lord Kusanali's consciousness has been forcefully sealed, the core figures of the Academia and their guards have started to wear their Akasha terminals again. With the Doctor's technological support, they think they have nothing to fear. How despicable of them to rely on such a person. But this is also our chance. I was originally asked to draft the Knowledge Capsule for the Artistic Performances Prohibition Act when I was still at the Academia. Ah, okay, yeah. The the order from the Akasha was tweaked to something else. It was supposed to arrest her, but it became something else. It should be on the Grand Sage's desk right now, and will be entered into the Akasha yeah, during, during the next Nyagarbha day. day. Okay. Are they really going to stop all artistic performances? Yeah, That's that horrible. was supposed to be. I'll make an identical knowledge capsule, but this time I'll smuggle some misleading information into it. Yeah, change something else. We only need to find an opportunity switch. to switch the capsules. Once it's been entered into the Akasha on Yagarbaha Day, if someone were to be seen performing in public, the sages would definitely use that opportunity to announce the ban. And so, the misleading, misleading information, information will be disseminated amongst the guard. Sure sounds complicated. But it seems like if everything goes well, we'll be able to get rid of all the guards in the academia without any effort. That's pretty clever, getting right into their heads. I just have one question. Even if we manage to get the misleading info out to the guards, how can we be sure that they'll believe it? People who are used to relying on the Akasha become less inquisitive, and their ability to distinguish truth from misinformation is significantly reduced. They will view everything the Akasha releases to them as the unequivocal truth. The Akasha will turn humans into machines. I've seen it happen many times. Yikes. Good thing I didn't wear it for long when I was working in Sumeru City. At first, I thought it was a good thing too. By the way, this plan still requires a performer, right? Do you have someone in mind? Nilo. Nilo of Zubair Theater. What a coincidence. I know her really well. They already planned this. We can this. trust her. I'm kind of hesitant to ask her to participate in a dangerous plan like this, but we can ask her in person. All right. After the guards and the academia are gone. Mm -hmm. Then it'll be time for me and my stowaway brothers to shine. The Aramites. This is where the Aramites come in. Wait. So now what? Are we still using... Here they come! Did you see that, Raman? They came out from the Academia in droves! <laughs> no. After laying low in the city for so long, this is the moment we've been waiting for. My brothers have already sprung into action. <laughs> we couldn't do anything to them inside their coop, but outside the Academia? This is our hunting ground. For a lioness like you, the prey sure won't be able to run far. <laughs> we still need to eliminate the guards as soon as possible. If we give the sages enough time to realize what's happening, the plan's doomed. Yeah, all they've done is to sit on their cushy salaries and twiddle their thumbs all day while we fought and struggled every day in the desert. The only advantage they might have is their numbers. Speaking of which, 
most of the guards who report directly to the six sages belong to the core of 30 but they have a completely six sages. different reputation following those blasted sages every whim throwing away all the principles of being a mercenary as someone in the same profession i'm obligated to teach him a good lesson today indeed the trap has been set all we need to do is lead them there all right let's each take a road and herd those scattered guards back into one place make sure to attract their attention isak will be the key you Isa? gave such an important task to that child even isak is in here be okay it'll be fine Isak was so determined to help, so let's put our faith in him. Right, he was Besides, fine. Besides, even if he's caught, the guards would be too scared to do anything to him. They've never seen Lesser Lord Kusanali in person, after all. Oh! Anyway, I think I see them coming. They never seen us. I think I know what's going on here. Good luck. I seen a, I seen a picture of this. Is it what I think it is? God, you suck. What a cosplay of Nahida. Hey, do you remember what you need to do, Isak? When the guards get here, you'll pretend to be Lesser Lord Kusanali and run away from them. Oh, that's why they say Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped from the sanctuary. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, I remember. Of course I do. I'm just a, a little nervous. <laughs> Relax. Don't think about getting caught. Even if that happens, we won't leave you behind. You only need to think about getting the guards' attention and leading them to the Grand Bazaar. Lead them leave to the, the Grand Bazaar. Okay, got it. I'm here to pay back Lesser Lord Kusanali for helping Grandpa. I won't get cold feet. Hey, they're here. I can see the academia cart. Can you imagine if you're right, using Isak? It's time, Isak. Take a deep breath and go. You can do that. Wait. Okay, Isak is going by his own. We're not moving Isak. Imagine if Isak is playable. Alamak. This is interesting. Why is there a guard over there? Did he already run ahead of me? It would be great if we can play as Isak. <laughs> this is different from our plan. Oh, what? No I need to make a choice. Oh shit, 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 shit. Um, 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 um. I should use the house actually, but. <gasps> Did I just see something dart by? Damn it. I'd better go have a look. Oh shit. Maybe the house was the better option. Were my eyes playing tricks on me? Russell? I should go check to see if someone's hiding over there. No. Stiffly move to the right. There seems to be nothing here. Uh, just to be safe. Need to feel. Good thing they didn't find me. Okay, we are playing like that. I didn't think that would be the way. Oh my gosh, okay. Hey! Lesser Lord Kusanali is over there! Stop! Oh shit. Lesser Lord Kusanali, how did I not see anything just now? Oh no, they found me. Where should I go? Grand Bazaar! Straight to the Grand Bazaar! The target suspected to be Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped into the Grand Bazaar! Assemble and arrest her! Are we good? We got Where did them here. she go? How did she disappear? Did we lose her? Hurry up and find her! Hey, why is your team here? Didn't we say to split up our search? <laughs> hurry, hurry! This place is... Why are you all here? <laughs> Everyone is brought here. <laughs> yeah, isn't it one heck of a coincidence? Everybody's here. Everybody's what here. What on earth is going on? I suppose that's all of you? Who are you? Did you set us up? What are you planning? <sighs> Phew, that was rough. I almost got caught. Little brat! So you're not actually Lesser Lord Kusanali. 
Yeah, no. Who exactly are you all? Eremites from the desert? Just some colleagues. Think of this as a business competition. Or a personal grudge. After stepping into our trap, stop thinking of yourselves as hunters. Behave like the prey you are. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine You've that. spent all your time hiding away in the academia. This place has long since become our hunting ground. Brace yourselves. Are we battling? Are we battling? No. I thought we can use D or something. Come on, this game. What's going to happen now? Grand Siege. This is odd. The Academia has quieted down after the conclusion of the Neagarba Day ceremonies. But it's much quieter than usual. Where are the guards? Why have I not seen a single one? Guards? Guards! They are all in the Grand Bazaar. <laughs> Grand Sage, how may I be of assistance? I called for the guards. <laughs> I called for the Why did you come? Uh, my, my apologies. Grand Sage, right now all Academia guards have entered the city to perform the order to rest. I thought you knew. Yes, you did. But the order changed. Arrest? Who is there to arrest? D. The... I have an ominous feeling. A arrest Lesser Lord Kusanali, right? Is that not what the order was? <laughs> Wrong. Lesser Lord Kusanali? She disappeared. You mean she has disappeared? Yes, I wouldn't dare make up something like that. Right now, everyone is in a panic, and many are saying that that lesser Lord Kusanali will take revenge on us. Who? Oh. What happened? Just what is going on? Lesser Lord Kusanali somehow escaped. Was it Alhatham and his party that freed her? That's impossible. The Academia is heavily guarded today, and any order to release lesser Lord Kusanali would be strictly confidential. Any Besides, others? Alhatham and the Traveler are already in our hands. What manner of trickery did they employ? How could Lesser Lord Kusanali disappear into thin air? Disappear? Wait. Hmm? How was the arrest order distributed to the guards? It was issued by the Akasha earlier today. Only you had the authority to send messages like that, so I thought it was your order. <laughs> Let me check. Sir Lord Kusanali has escaped from the sanctuary of Sarasthana. Go to the city and arrest the escapee immediately. That's a different line. The Akasha indeed contains this information, and it clearly appeared in my mind. How did they bypass my permissions to issue this kind of message? Was it the report about the traveler that Alhatham submitted? The report that Alhatham submitted? No. I specifically checked that knowledge capsule before entering it into the Akasha. Could that have been a red herring? Well, even if I figure it out now, it won't make any difference. The important thing now is to confirm Lesser Lord Kusanali's status. Have you been to the Sanctuary of Surasthana to confirm that Lesser Lord Kusanali has indeed escaped? Confirm? N no <laughs> I, I haven't. Grand Sage Azar is really careful. It may be a bit offensive to say this, but Grand Sage, what you're saying doesn't make any sense. How can the information in the Akasha be inaccurate? What the Akasha decrees is fact. That is common knowledge to all of us. If we have to confirm the information and knowledge from the Akasha ourselves, then how is that any different from us learning that information ourselves? Wouldn't Greater Lord Rukadavata's legacy lose its meaning that way? Of course you have to check it. What do you mean? In the beginning, it was I who asked you to believe in the Akasha, to believe in the legacy left by Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Are you trying to use my words against me? <laughs> no, Grand Sage. 
I'm merely confused because I believe in you. I never meant to refute you. <laughs> Stay here and see if there are any suspicious people around. I'll go to the sanctuary of Suristhana on my own. Oh boy. Y yes, Grand Sage. So what now? Next, we beat him up. <laughs> so now what? Frenizar arrives at the sanctuary. Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped from the sanctuary of Suristhana. Go to the city and arrest the escapee immediately. <sighs> How can that be? <laughs> Stop thinking about it. Stop. There must be a trick of theirs. As long as I personally confirm it. Just confirming. Oh boy. This is the place. Ah. Hmm? Oh, she has disappeared. That's impossible. There must be something wrong with my eyes. Is it true? She disappeared? <sighs> or is it the Akasha's just just messing him up? She really appeared again. Oh, then she is there. Oh wait. That is her power anyway. What a comical sight is are. I know. <laughs> Once the Akasha has put certain thoughts into your head, even the Grand Sage can no longer see what's right in front of him. You all can only see the world in your mind, the one you think you know. And precisely because of this, you disregarded Lesser Lord Kusanali's existence. She has been a wise and worthy Archon. Sino, have you been waiting for a chance like this? The Akasha predicted that you would return to the Academia to <laughs> confront me, but I didn't expect it to turn out like this. I was careless. No, you were blinded. Your faults stem from your reliance on the Akasha. You're still the same as always. I truly did not expect a proud person like you to cooperate with all Haytham and the Traveler. People change, Azar. Admit it. The Akasha can't predict my actions anymore. <laughs> then tell me, what have you found during your investigation? You want to buy time? This is the Sanctuary of Suristhana. Under your own regulations, even Academia staff are forbidden to come here. No one will come to save you. As for the investigation, I've at least confirmed that you are guilty of insurgency against the Archon. A serious crime. So what? Did you do all of this so I would plead guilty in front of you, General Mahamatra? No. I want you to plead guilty. <laughs> in front of the Archon herself. You once said that I had no standing to judge you. So now, how oh, about shit. judgment in the name of a god? Now what? Back to us. Lady, we can get out. No way. Thinking about it, at least Paimon has you. We could still chat like this. When Paimon thinks of Nahida being imprisoned alone in the sanctuary of Suristana, Paimon can't help but feel sorry for her. There it is. How? Who opened it? Ah, oh dear. Here comes your savior. <laughs> search through who knows how many guards to find the key here. It felt even more tiring than whacking them. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Thanks a lot. Need Paimon to rub your shoulders? Uh, no, no, that's, <laughs> uh, I'll pass. What are you afraid of? 
and on Sino's side are both going well. The guards that stormed out of the Academia are all taken care of. The Corps of Thirty is in charge of the city's defenses, but we already talked to Asphant. They've been fed up with the sages bossing them around. <laughs> as long as it doesn't break their employment contracts, they'll turn a blind eye. That's probably because you've been super great friends with them for a long time. So, how's Sino doing? The Grand Sage is in his custody. Even I know how terrible it is to fall into Sino's hands, so he probably does too. Sino forced him to release Lesser Lord Kusanali. He has okay. no choice but to obey. So, hurry to the sanctuary of Suristana. Assuming nothing weird happened, Let's we go. should have already rescued our Archon. Let's go. Honestly, I didn't expect our ragtag bunch to do this well. We just came together last minute to save the Archon, you know? Alright, you two better go. I still have to clean up some messes in the city. See you around. We still have uh, the battle deer to worry about. But for now. <clears throat> Go to the sanctuary. Surastana. Let's enter. Oh my gosh. This is the first time entering the sanctuary. Yeah, she's free at last. Nahida! Should I say it's nice to meet you? This is the first time we've met in real life. Before, we've only met in dreams, consciousness. <laughs> Finally. But when I was in someone else's body. Thank you so much for coming to rescue me, but I also need to apologize. During this time, I did some self-reflection. My sense of inferiority and yielding to the academia led to all of this, and created so much trouble for you all. Exactly! We're here because you're a good Archon and one of our friends! <laughs> Thanks, you two. Amazing. So this is how it feels to walk out of that cage with my own body. It's like I just had an endlessly long dream. I can't even tell if I just woke up or was only now born into this world. Mm -hmm. My concept of self has become so clear. <clears throat> but now doesn't seem to be the time to indulge in this feeling. Both. This was... <laughs> this is really embarrassing. You all just rescued an Archon, and now she needs her help to save her country, <laughs> and even the entire world. It's okay. With you here, Paimon's sure that everything will work out. There's one more thing. What is it? For all the things the Academia did to me, and for all the folly it committed in the name of wisdom, as their Archon, I will make them pay. Ah! Wow! That's the spirit! Finally standing up for yourself and not letting people walk all over you! <laughs> I understand now. To be a better Archon, I first need to better myself. If you haven't even figured out how to be a caterpillar, how can you be a butterfly? Yes, true. Hmm, that reminds me. I wonder how far along the Academia is with their god creation plan. We need to hurry and prevent the birth of that false god. I need to make some preparations. Since I'm now free, I can establish a direct link to the Akasha and control it. First things first, I need to remove the restrictions that the doctor put on me in the Akasha. Yeah. After that, restriction. I'll make what some adjustments <laughs> and revoke the sage's permissions. The Akasha will then be like how it originally, originally was, okay. only operable by the Archon. After all, the Academia betrayed Greater Lord Rukadobata's trust. 
This might take some time. In the meantime, you should also work on your own preparation. If we don't stop the God creation plan in time, we'll be in for a tough fight. Okay. Straight away teleported out. Two and a half hours, we finally freed Nahida. What next? You might as well prepare for a fight. When we're done, we can take a walk around. After all, we missed out on a lot of stuff when we were locked up. Wait until four and find Nahida in the sanctuary of Surastana. So we have to go back in. Once it's four, hold on. It's literally 40 minutes from now. Uh, so I have to go back in, right? Talk to Naida once you're prepared. Okay, but I think I'll stop here. This is like the halfway point, I think. Because I think if there is a boss battle coming, that would take me probably another half an hour to an hour. And I have to go soon. Oh man, so I'll continue the next part next time in another video. Alright, so I'll stop right now. Nahida's free. Well, in the story, Nahida's free. <laughs> to be continued. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.